Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. I'm doing a voiceover for this video. Today I have a 12 by 16 inch canvas I'm going to be doing a swipe on. And my base coat here is um, Rust-Oleum Metallic Champagne. And I will list in uh, the description all the paints that I have used and I will also put them here on this video for you to see. There I was just showing you um, the consistency of my paint. My paints are on the thinner side today to do the swipe. I have used quite a bit of metallics. And here I go with my first color. And as I put them down, I can tell you that this is, I have to find it here, Color Shift to Black Flash by Folk Art. That's that first color there. And the second color is, let's see, it is silver, Rust-Oleum Metallic Sterling Silver. I'm using some very pretty colors today. My third color now that I'm using is, um, let's see here. Oh, it's DecoArt Eggplant, the name of that color. The next paint I am using is DecoArt Metallics Peacock Pearl. And my next color is, let's see, Folk Art Treasure Gold, and it is the Rose Gold. And this color is uh, Modern Masters Venetian Blue. And I just love that color. It's a really deep, dark blue. And this last color is Golden Teal. And I may have that mixed up. That This one I just put down is probably the DecoArt Metallics Peacock Pearl. And the, and the first one was the teal now that I look at it. I am going to swipe in that Modern Masters Venetian Blue. I just thought that would be a very pretty color to do this swipe in. A lot of metallics here today. And I am swiping with uh, dampened paper towels. I watch a lot of Kathleen of Cos Creations, that's C-O-Z. She does a lot of metallic swipes, so if you ever get a chance to watch her channel, you should. She's very, very good at it. And see how at the end of my swipe here, I just kind of pick up a corner of my, I try to twist it and pick up a corner of that paper towel. I am leaving some negative space there down at the bottom. And I am using different widths of the dampened paper towel. As you can see, I have some cell action happening already. And that is from the Floetrol. My pouring medium today, by the way, is um, my usual two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and a teaspoon of um, Liquitex. Uh, gloss medium. No silicone added today. Just continuing to swipe here. You can see right there how I just kind of twisted that paper towel at the end.
and that that finishes that and at this point I'm looking at it and thinking that the top where I started the swipe is a little bit um, unfinished looking to me so I decide I'm going to put a few stripes of different colored paints at the top and I do start with that uh, folk art color shift black flash some of that rose gold it almost does look like a copper but it is actually the rose gold And I'm using some of that um, Deco Art eggplant. And the Modern Masters Venetian Blue. And I am going to swipe up at the top and as you can see I'm just trying to add a little bit of um, squiggles to it I didn't want just a straight swipe there just a little something extra for the eye to take to see there I'm almost doubling over that paper towel here I did double it over on this one And again, here I doubled it over. And here I use a, a thicker piece of paper towel. And I believe I did run out of paper towel and I had to um, get another piece together here to finish it. And I'm just adding a little bit extra blue here. kind of did want it to go all the way across up at the top and just a few little re-swipes see what I can get here I just really liked that Venetian blue color. I wanted it to come out more. You can see how many cells have, have popped up. It was pretty incredible. And the lacing, when I bring you down for a close-up, you'll just see how beautiful the lacing is. And here I'm adding an extra line of the black flash too. And that, that is very shiny. The camera doesn't give it justice. But when we go down for a close-up, you'll be able to see how shiny that black flash is. And now I'm just going to do some 
some tipping just to move that paint around a little bit. Quite a bit of paint on the canvas, but I don't really tip any off, not much. I just want that top to look a little more jagged. That is the effect I'm trying to get here. And you can see all the lacing as I'm tipping here and all the cells. I was very happy with how the, the lacing turned out, especially around the silver. It seems like that the black flash is what's um, around all those all the silver there, giving it that lacy look. I'm still doing some more tilting here just to get it just the way I want it. Just taking a look at it now. And I'm just taking some of that Venetian blue and continuing that line all the way across. Just thickening that line a little bit. Along with the uh, black flash. I just wanted that line to look continuous there. Just a little more, little more tilting here. And now I'm just taking a skewer and I'm just drawing some of that um, Venetian blue out a little bit. Not, not a whole lot, just a little bit. And I'm trying to run it along a natural, a natural line here. And I do want to tilt just a little bit to incorporate that Venetian blue a little little more at the top. And just moving the paint down a little bit. And that is the composition, how I would like, like it to be, just as we're seeing it now. And just having that black flash go over the edge there. Now 
Now I'm going to give it a quick torch. I think these colors are just beautiful together. Let me know what you think in the comments also. If you think this is a good uh, color palette. And now I'm going to get you down for a close-up. This is the upper right, I'm sorry, upper left-hand corner. And just look at the lacing. This is what really blew me away here. It's just, And you can see right there's that black flash with that Venetian blue. Just so shiny. And you got the rose gold coming up. Some of that eggplant was there also. That's the lower left-hand corner. Here I'll take you up the middle. This is where I mean that that silver is all outlined by that black flash and it's so pretty. And now I'll take you over to the right-hand corner. And now down the right hand side. Very pretty in here. That's why I kind of zoomed in so you could see that. And this is the lower right hand corner. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I post a new video and subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. But hang on. Here's a bonus painting that I did. I had it, so much paint left over that I decided to do a 12 by 12 inch painting with the same color palette and all I did was just lay the paint out in stripes and then just tilted it and just look at how beautiful this turned out. I just love this painting, this little 12 by 12. I'm going up the middle here. And then this is the upper right hand corner. So just some bonus footage of some extra paint I had. And I just thought it turned out so nice. I had to show everybody. So that's it for today. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.